Hi students, this is Smita Patil. Let us come to know about preposition in detail. Idanu kannada dali sambandha kaviya yendu kariyottari. Let us come to know about the definition. A word is used before a noun or pronoun to show its relation to some other word in the sentence is called preposition. Yava padavu vakya dali nama padam atu sarva nama padam madhya da sambandha vannu suchi sutta diyo antha padagala no sambandha kaviya yendu kariyottari. Let us come to know about the kinds of preposition. First one is simple preposition. Sarala sambhandha kaviya. Second one is compound preposition. Sanyukta sambhandha kaviya. Third one is phrase preposition. Pada punja athava nudigattu sambhandha kaviya. Fourth one is participle preposition. Kridvachaka sambhandha kaviya. Fifth one is verbal preposition. Akhyata sambhandha kaviya. See, the, these all are the five kinds of prepositions. Let us come to know about the first one, that is, simple preposition. These prepositions are used very commonly in the sentences. For example, at, out, to, by, in, etc. He is at the college. So, no college nalli iddhani. I am going to home. Nanu manege hobutti dene. Second one is compound preposition. Double word prepositions are formed generally by prefixing a preposition to a noun, an adjective or an adverb is called compound preposition. So here we will come to know about the prefix and double words that may be a noun or that may be an adjective or that may be an adverb. For example, a plus long, along. So here we will come to know about the two words. First one is A and the second one is long and it becomes along. A plus cross, across. So like this we can see many words. Inside, behind, within, beside, etc. For example, she went across the sea. He walked along the road. Atta dar yudha ko nadidhanu. Third one is phrase preposition. A group of words which are used as phrase prepositions. For example, according to, adara prakara, along with, jyotege, on behalf of, paravagi, away from, dura, come across, adalagi, barudu. For example, she came along with me. Savalu nana jute bandalu. The cat came across the road. So, dari gebeku adalagi banditu. So, like this, we can use the double words here or the group of words here. Fourth one is participle preposition. Present participles which are used as prepositions are called participle prepositions. For example, concerning, sambandhisida, considering, pariganisu, respecting, gauravisu, including, olagondiruva, accepting, hortupadisi. For example, I come to conclusion considering these points. The files left pending. Fifth one is verbal preposition. These are these are made up of two prepositions. For example, out of. It is out of. Out plus of. Out of. So here we will come to about two prepositions. First one is out and the second one is of. And it become out of. Like this. Into within etc for example he came out of the house so atamane in the horege bandano a word used instead of a noun is called a pronoun nama pada the badalige upyogisu and hapada ke sarva nama yendu karyotari let us come to know about the list of prepositions first one is above then along, below, by, for, about, among, beneath, from, near, at, beside, despite, in, next, 
before, between, down, inside, to, behind, beyond, except, into, off, on, opposite, out, outside, over, round, since, throw, till, over, besides, on to, against, until, after, unless, across, under, towards, past, like, with, of. These all are the list of prepositions. So these are very useful in sentences to make a sentences. So this is all about preposition. Thank you.